The next chefs into action are Nick Nairn for Scotland and Bryn Williams for Wales. Uh, lovely bit of Scottish smoked salmon. That's you want, yeah? There's stuff we smoke ourselves at the, uh, at the school. Wild salmon, of course. And I'm going to do a little salad with watercress and we're going to add some spring onions and some pickled cabbage and some apple through that as well. And then you've got the strength of horseradish. It's a kind of classic fresh horseradish. horseradish. Yeah, fresh yeah, horseradish, yeah. creme fraiche, mayo, you know, big, strong flavours. Strong flavours. And this salmon, you know, was caught out of a local river. And if we get it right, it, it kind of sings. Nick Nairn is one of Scotland's best-known chefs, but he hadn't cooked in a restaurant kitchen for three years before this competition. It took a while to adapt. Most of these guys are in the restaurants every day, uh, you know, and... Uh, and I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm, I, mean, I run a cookery school. You know, I run a catering business. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm probably more of a businessman than I'm. A, I'm a chef. So um, I'm just hoping I don't, you know, um, look stupid. For the fish course, he's making seared smoked salmon with horseradish mayonnaise. Good morning. How's it going? Yes, yeah, going all right. Yeah. Yeah. You're confident on this dish. Well, I feel this time. But the salmon that I've got is not as good as the last one. You caught the last one, didn't you? Last I, I did, yeah. yeah. Somebody else caught this one. That's, uh, maybe, yeah. that's maybe the difference. <laughs> that must be the problem. But this is unusual, isn't it? Because you're actually going to serve smoked salmon hot. I am indeed, yeah. Just yeah. sear it, yeah. It'd be and I think it just accentuates mm. the, mm. uh, the, the flavour. Does it make yeah. you a little, little worried, a little edgy? No, I have confidence in my dish this one. It, no, I'm OK. Well, Bryn seems happy, but it looks as if Nick may have a problem. That's not right. It's the flavour of that horseradish. Anthony, what was that horseradish? It's stale. It should be making your eyes water. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no time to change the horseradish, so Nick just has to press on regardless. He's serving his salmon with an apple and watercress salad, and of course, the horseradish mayonnaise he's not happy with. Let's just hope the judges don't notice anything's wrong with it. Mm. Looks all right, doesn't it? Looks good. This was delicious, I remember. I remember that I was so surprised because I usually hate hot smoked fish. The trouble with cooking it is that it dries out the outside. I'm trying, no. to, trying to decide whether you need the horseradish at all. I don't think you actually need the horseradish. I, I mean, I like the horseradish. It's mm. very nice, very good horseradish. Mm. But it's sort of, it, they're two very strong flavours, mm. though. I think the salad is wonderful. It's really Salad's refreshing salad's very and light nice. and clean. I think probably in this case he's probably going to suffer from the fact that we've got one outstanding salmon already, already. already in mm. contention, which we put forward, mm. and then you're coming into mm. another salmon. So I think he's a, yes. bit, he's a bit of a disadvantage there. Mm. Well, it's absolutely true to say that if I had to choose between the two dishes, no. I would have the Corrigan salmon. It's a good point. If you chose salmon as your starter for the Great British Menu when you voted yesterday, do you want it two courses running? And Nick's disappointed with what he served up anyway. In a mild Scottish manner, you're very cross. I just know that, that what I put up there isn't as good as I gave my life. Well, let's hope they don't remember.